Now, every day here on Cybos TV, we'll be hearing from leading financial journalists for their perspective on this year's sessions. Now, all of it is must-see, of course, but what are the expectations of our experts? Well, today, they're Liz Lumley, who's technology and transaction banking editor at The Banker, and Heather McKenzie, reporter for Cybos Issues. Welcome to both of you. Um, I want to get both of your takes on this. But Liz, let's start with you. The theme of this year's conference is recharging global finance. What are you expecting to be the main discussion points around that theme this week? Well, it, it's interesting. I mean, I, I, I think we're all, everyone's going to talk about the, the global pandemic that we've all been been living through uh, for the past 18 months, two years. But also, you know, it, it really kind of showed, we, we've been talking about for a number of years, you know, about digital transformation. And we know banking is a global industry, but kind of the pandemic really showed us what that global, what global means, how big the world really is. We've seen issues with supply chain and that goes into trade finance and that, you know, when you, when you, when you look at, at, at how people are dealing with this unprecedented event around the world, it shows us, you know, how big this world really is. So although, you know, that recharging global finance and looking to see how digital is, is impacting um, th this space, the, the corporate banking space, the transaction banking space, um, it's really this, you know, things are, things are now real. This isn't some sort of hypothetical theory or some um, idea on stage. This is, this is we've, we've actually seen how this is a real business. So this is the time to, to yeah, recharge what global, global trade and global financing really is. And Heather, what thoughts do you have about the theme and how will it shape discussions this year? Um, I think uh, the theme's very interesting. The, in a way, I think um, you can talk about recharging or even maybe rethinking um, uh, global finance because uh, I think there'll be a lot of discussion this week. Um, you know, Liz has mentioned, and you've already mentioned the pandemic, and we can't really get away from it, uh, of the, the sort of impact that's had. And... Um, the themes were mentioned a bit earlier about uh, uh, digital acceleration and te technological innovation, and I think that's really been brought to the fore during the pandemic. Of, um, I thought it was quite astonishing, really, that banks were able to get thousands of their staff um, working from home in, in a really short period of time while they were had liquidity worries, while they didn't really know what, um, what impact it would have, and that you know, most people I've spoken to have said that productivity has improved. So the the sort of lessons that have come through from the pandemic and also from the digital transformations that were taking place before the pandemic have set people up really well, I guess, to recharge or rethink um, where they're going, you know, where the industry is going. And as as Liz said, you know, of course, it's, it's global and we see that at Cybos every year. Yeah. And back to you, Liz. Cybos is again virtual this year. How well do you think the industry has adjusted to this virtual world, both at Cybos, uh, but more generally in their workplaces? Um, yeah, no, I agree. I agree with Heather um, uh, tremendously. It was it was uh, refreshing to see how quickly people adapted um, to this new reality. I mean, something that's often said, that's been said over the past eighteen months, is can you imagine if this pandemic had happened thirty years ago? Um, you know, we now have the technology so that work still happens. You know, work, work still happens. For, for those of us that didn't have massive amounts of suffering, and I know a lot of people did, but for those of us who didn't, you know, work still went on. And, um, you know, it, it's, it's really refreshing and, and wonderful that an event like Cybos can still happen in the virtual realm. It takes a little bit of an adjustment. You know, you have to put in a little bit more effort with networking and using the tools and not thinking that an event like this, because it's on your screen, is a passive experience. It does take a bit more effort. And I'm going to be a little controversial and say, you know, I, I've been to about 13, 14 Cyboses, and it's wonderful to travel around the world and see exotic cities and stay in nice hotels. But Cybos is an event where people have meetings and do the business of banking. That's what this event is for. And since we can't travel again this year, you know, stop your belly aching and get involved. I mean, as, as you mentioned when you st the start of the show, 
this event is going on 24 hours a day. You can log on in any of your times in time zones. That is so incredibly refre refreshing and flexible. So yeah, business still happens. This event is available virtually, um, and it's. Uh, I think we live in an incredible time, and we're incredibly lucky that we have this technology to let events like this go on. So yeah, I think most people understand that. Um, and then someday we will meet again and have a glass of wine. But for now, um, this is a, this is a wonderful alternative. Absolutely, yes to the wine. And uh, Heather, I want to ask you about the breadth of the sessions this year. There's great representation of the APAC region as well as EMEIA. Um, I think it offers real scope to have such a uh, real value to have such a large scope when it comes to the session content, doesn't it? It, it does indeed, and and um, I'm a really big fan of virtual cybos, which, as Liz says, it's a kind of um, uh, controversial sort of view because I've been going to cybos. Uh, I can trump Liz. I've been uh, attending cybos since 1992, so I'm I'm maybe slightly jaded by the whole thing. But um, I think the the breadth of speakers. Uh, sort of has been made possible by, by it being a virtual event because there's about 10, I think, CEOs of, um, of banks, which I know in the past uh, SWIFT were very keen to get, you know, the view from the very top of banks and, and they've been able to do that. And I'm not entirely sure if, if we were in Singapore at Cybos, we'd be able to get that many um, CEOs, you know, from Indian banks, China, uh, Canada, Europe. Um, so, so that's really, I think, will be really interesting to see, and and also um, market infrastructure uh, CEOs. So, um, I, I think as well, one of the themes this week is is going to be sustainability and climate change, and I think the uh, intergovernmental panel on climate change, a recent report, shows that. You know, we really have to be making very tough decisions, as Liz said, and, and jumping on aeroplanes and going to a city to all meet in person is maybe not our future. Mm. And um, and another another anecdote someone I was talking to recently said what they liked about um, virtual Cybos was that more people in their team could tap into Cybos and could hear their clients speaking about what their challenges are. So mm. it's kind of a, a broader scope of um, speakers and in, and it's, you know, sharing that information much more widely um, among among the SWIFT community, among the, the people in in the team of people who, who would come physically to Cybos. So I, um, I like virtual Cybos. But, and you know, I understand that travel is a perk for some people, so... Mm. And Liz Get over it. <laughs> <laughs> and Liz and Heather, very finally and briefly, um, let's look ahead to today's schedule. Lots of content, but briefly, what are you most looking forward to today? Heather? Um, right, well, I, um, I think the Inner Tribe opening, um, the opening speech uh, is a futurist, and I always find futurists um, thought-provoking and sometimes amusing, so... Um, that, that will be interesting, I think. Um, and you know, tribe like to like to sort of put things out there for people to to um, mull over. So I think I'll be looking forward to that. There's also a couple of views from the top um, from Standard Bank and OCBC, and there's a session as well on um, cybercrime, which of course has has come to the fore as well uh, during people working from home and being. Uh, being exposed to that so there's a few things it's and, all good and Liz you're, you're, you're answering one sentence <laughs> <laughs> um, I just think go for you can get really um, hyped up with the, the hype of technology but in banking sometimes you really just need to remove paper create efficiencies you know all the unsexy stuff to make you know ba banking more easier to deal with I really like to, to, to stuff like that fantastic thank you so much both